Hello, I'm Jim Honeycutt. I'm the ThermoDrive product manager for Interlox, and I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about ThermoDrive technology. So since we introduced ThermoDrive uh, more than a decade ago, other manufacturers have been trying to copy that product. They produced a variety of belts with positive drive features on the bottom that run on a sprocket, and they call their systems positive drive. A ThermoDrive goes beyond the positive drive systems in providing reliable and predictable performance. It's a completely different technology. So while they may have copied a belt and a sprocket, they missed their mark with regard to the technology. So in order for you to see that uh, the easiest way, we developed a model of a conveyor to show you the difference between a positive drive system and ThermoDrive technology. So what this is is a model of a conveyor like you might find in your plant. Uh, it has a drive system, which is a sprocket and a belt with a drive feature on the bottom. It has a way of introducing product load to the belt. So as I turn this knob, I squeeze the belt against the carry way and simulate product load. And it has a tensioning device, sometimes called a take-up device, that can be extended or retracted to introduce tension into the system. So when you go in the market today and you buy a positive drive system, you get a belt with a drive feature on the bottom and you get a sprocket. So let's say you've done that and you've installed that on a conveyor in your plant. So we're going to turn this conveyor on. And again, we have a loose belt, belt with a drive feature, sprocket, positive drive system. Everything seems to be functioning properly. Let's introduce a little product load. We're starting up the production line. So immediately as I do that, you see we have a problem at the drive. The belt disengages instantly as soon as enough product load is introduced to the belt. You can show quickly one more time. Running loose, no load, it runs pretty well. But this positive drive system, when I introduce product load, now disengages almost immediately. So the only way for maintenance to solve this problem in the plant now is to introduce tension into the system. And that's what they'll do. They'll come out and they'll introduce tension into the belt. How much, they don't know, just enough to make it work properly. But as the day goes on or line loads increase and we introduce more product load to the belt, we now have the same thing occurring again. And the only solution again is for maintenance to come and add tension to the belt. So you can see that this system really depends on being tight and tensioned against the conveyor to drive properly. And then at the end of the day, when production loads are off and production is stopped, sanitation has to come in and they face a belt that's tensioned against the conveyor that can't get under it, that can't clean it. So their only choice is to take the tension off the system so that they can get under and around the belt. And then when production starts the next day, we're at the same spot again. So this positive drive system really is a belt with a drive feature, a sprocket, and tension. Tension must be introduced for this to operate and, and drive. So let's contrast that now with thermodrive technology. So thermodrive technology really is the combination of three things as well. It's a belt and a sprocket and a third element that we call a position limiter. This is a patented, unique, specific solution that allows this belt to remain positively engaged regardless of loading or changes in friction and changes in conditions in the plant. So let's see what that looks like with the ThermoDrive tensionless drive system engaged. Now as I introduce product load to the belt, the belt drives reliably, the belt's still loose in the return way. As loads come up, still the belt drives reliably, predictably, belt's still loose in the return way. So I can change loads up and down. I can change friction levels, and it doesn't really matter. As long as this unique, specific, patented solution is in place at the drive, we have reliable, predictable drive operation. So another thing to note about thermal drive technology, and which is different than positive drive technology, you notice thermal drive doesn't need a tensioning device. It doesn't need a take-up device. So it simplifies conveyor design and makes things much more hygienic. We're not buying take-ups and conveyors, we're not maintaining them, we're not cleaning them. So with the thermal drive system, our engagement really is about this tensionless drive system and this patented unique solution that we offer. And that's what makes thermal drive technology different than, than positive drive systems on the market today.
So this solution can very much optimize your conveyors operationally and hygienically when it's properly installed.